Hi everyone. Uh, so today I will show you how to use the ANC2 John can with the auto copper. In this tutorial, I will use the hardware platform from uh, Holybo uh, S500 kit with the Peacock uh, 6S and GPS and other accessories. And here you can see the arm kit here. I will use the Windjumps. ESC Nano as the ESC hardware. If you remove the cover from the arm here, you can find uh, it have already showed the, the motor uh, cable here. And if you pull this uh, ESC out, you can find a uh, BL Heli X uh, ESC with the very long uh, traditional uh, PWM uh, signal cable here. So I will replace the ESC Nano inside the frame arm. I have add a heatsink here to get the uh, best performance because it's hiding in the tube. And I have also installed the extra capacity here and also you need to uh, handle the electronic isolation so you will use this to hot string to uh, protect it from the carbon tube so this is the cam uh, cable this is uh, what it will uh, look like so now we go back to the wiring diagram. I have the CAN uh, signal cable here. In here, I will use the CAN uh, speeder here with this uh, shoulder jump uh, enabled as the end point of the term, uh, terminator re register. The flight controller inside, it will have already have this one. So I just uh, handle the end. So all the ESC will uh, connect it to the same bus. Generally, I will use the CAM adapter to use all the function in the CAM GUI too. But uh, to make it straightforward in this tutorial, I will not uh, use it here. I will use the second endpoint uh, from the PSOC. Uh, in this piece of 6S. The second endpoint is mapping to the 0A. You need to uh, select the protocol and enable it. You can use the Marlin 2 or the SL can. Uh, I prefer use the Marlin 2. Then you can use the main can protocol. Okay, now I will uh, start this uh, tutorial. Now I have the preset Windows ES Nano inside the carbon tube. I have all the connected set up. The CAN bus, I will use the CAN speeder here, and the fry controller will use the first point here, and the end point it has a register and a shoulder jump. I have it uh, enabled and the rest of the ESC Nano will connect it to uh, these ports. And if you want more connectors, so you need to disable this point and add another speeder to the end, to the first point, and then enable the last one. So I will uh, keep this uh, wiring. Now I will um, enable the CAN driver in the PSOC. I will search the CAM P1 driver. Now I will uh, enable it by setting to the first driver. Also, you need to uh, set up the CAM protocol to the John CAM. Now I will uh, reboot to take effort.
Okay, now the node 10 show up here is the flight controller itself. Now I will power on the PDB. You can see the ESC node uh, shows up here. It's in uh, below the stage. It getting uh, show you no set signal here. It will not put into the main frame right now. So I will uh, key set up the piece of. To be straightforward, I will subscribe the ESC log command here because uh, no signal means it haven't received the command uh, signal from here. At first, I will uh, set up the ESC mask in the can D1. I will enable for ESC here as we will use the port S here to match the frame kit here. After uh, I click OK, it haven't uh, show up yet because uh, generally the default plans it need the safety switch to enable all the motor outputs. So I will not use this uh, in here. I will uh, disable the the safety switch. I will set it to zero. and reboot okay after a reboot you can hear the, the motor uh, sound uh, yes is uh, boot up so you can see the message uh, showing here and the uh, frequency is uh, here now I will do uh, some motor test to spin it up. Again, you need to make sure the motor spin will not uh, damage anything. So I will uh, hold it. Okay, the motor is uh, spinning. I have uh, modified a function here. Because the ESC panel from the GUI2 will conflict with the command from the PSCOP, so I have added a false view mode when it detected the control from uh, external source. So you can still view the ESC sensor data here. I will uh, spin it again. So you can view the RPN data here. Now I will set up the ESC prime to match the frame of the kit. So in the node session, it fetch all the primes here. The ESC index is the motor ID uh, mapping. Uh, zero is means uh, one here. You is the error uh, index. So you need to plus one to match the model uh, ID here. And one important plan is the model KV. According to the kit uh, documentation, I will set nine hundred and sixty KV here. Or can save it, and the motor pose is also important to getting the correct uh, RPM value. And another important part is the direction. Uh, this is a traditional way to change the direction. You can set it to true. So it will in another direction. I will set it back to false. 
you can see the difference okay and this is uh, straightforward uh, this is the traditional way and because the kids come with the BR Heli S the BR Heli X it doesn't support the plan to change the direction you may find it the kit have the moto brace cable mismatch in here so you will need to check it by yourself if it's uh, reverse it will be another direction with uh, other uh, moto setups so you will need to use the test result as a uh, confirm now i have set up all the Windows Nano ESC I will install them to the Edge 500 kit and set up the uh, whole frame kit I will not show the process if you are interested you can find other tutorial videos on the YouTube so after one hour work I have installed the whole frame I have the DSM uh, spectrum receiver here and the skip radio come with the horrible s500 kit and the gps in the gps port and the rest is the cam one i have the the cam speeder here and the cam one start in the front of the speeder and the end i have the uh, resistance enabled and the rest four pack is plugged into the, the Windows Nano ESC. So I will start the model test. Now I will begin the model test. As you can see, the ESC Nano is still in the bootloader stage. Yeah, uh, because I have enabled the safety switch. Now I will press the switch. Now the ESC boots up. I have already set up the, the radio. I have already uh, finished the calibration. I have set up the fry mode. I have uh, set up the dry roll and uh, compass uh, calibration. Now I will check the motor uh, if it match the quad. X brain tape. Carefully check the motor ID and direction. Okay, now I will try to arm it with the RC. At first, uh, make sure the GL fence is uh, disabled because it needs uh, GPS fix now it's indoor, it get no GPS fix you can see it's, uh, it's a green state and in stabilize mode now it will allow to arm Okay, now looks like it was ready to make a fry test. Now I have the propeller installed. I will try to take off in stabilized mode. into LED hole mode. Now it's into lighter mode. And land it.
Okay, so this is a basic setup and a uh, fry test. In next video, I will show you how to do the auto turn and hammer out turning. So thanks for watching.